Hello. Welcome to another week at the bunker. Right, where are we starting? So we start this week, like we start most weeks, probably clearing up from the week before, clearing out the rubbish or leftovers from what we've been doing. This week we'll be clearing out the two bedrooms, uh, so we're pulling down all the, well as you can see, radiator, all the doors, woodwork, skirtings all coming out. We've got the ceilings to come down, we've got to get rid of those uh, polystyrene tiles. Uh, disc cutting through the walls so we can get rid of some brickwork we've got, got another wall to pull down and we've got walk round of where we're at um, so that is coming up Oh, this is one that Claire likes. It's the uh, wooden back boxes on the light switches um, made out of ply. I don't know if they were made uh, when the house was built or if it was something that could be bought around about the 1960s, 70s, but it's just the light switches. And the lovely plastic skirting board. This stuff's great been glued on, wasn't screwed, nailed, nothing, just glued against the wall. Next on the list, smashing out the old copper pipes. Easiest way of doing it, the concrete or the cement they use wasn't very strong. Works well, really easy, just smash it out and then you can pull them out. Tend to come out with the concrete still stuck to them. Use the old pipe slice, chop it off. Sometimes these ones were stuck through the wall, so pipe slice it off and then just pull them out of the way. Once all the pipes are out of the floor, back to ceilings, kicking down ceilings, yeah, which is always good fun. Yeah. Uh, 
When you're kicking them down, it's quite funny because you suddenly go from having a floor underneath you to suddenly it's uh, there's a drop of like two meters. So now comes hopefully the last bit of uh, wall removal, um, marking up this bit that sticks out is uh, being removed so you can see through from the front door all the way through out to the back into the garden, so marking up and then that'll just be dissed out. And of course this bit is proper noisy, proper messy, just makes an absolute, you know, dust goes everywhere, you're absolutely covered. By the time we get out and we're done, all we want to do is go and have a shower. So basically the idea here is to uh, cut through, well, sort of, blade depth through the wall uh, with the idea of then hammering down the club hammer or sled hammer or whatever else to give us a, as clean a edge as possible uh, for when it comes to plastering or plaster boulding. So that's the next bit, just knocking all the brickwork away. And as you can see it gives you a, a relatively clean corner. And the sledgehammer works it a lot better than the, the club hammer. <laughs> mm -hmm. On this bit of wall, could get to both sides, um, so pretty much cut up this side and then cut back down the other side, leaving as minimal as possible um, of the masonry left. So as you can see from the clouds of uh, brick dust coming up, it's just, you know, it's just awful. Mask and goggles necessity. And then more smashing up brickwork. This was a lintel above the door. Just taking that out, just timber, just timber lintels. And then of course, a bit of fun. Bit of fun now with this one. Uh, this wall was um, double skin because it used to be uh, outside. So we've got two lots of brickwork or two lots of 100 mil brickwork to go through here with the cavity. And it was right in the 
the porch area, so I thought the dust had just nowhere to go. I couldn't open the door because it was uh, all the good just got in the way. So yeah, just like a total room full of dust. And hopefully, finally, the last wall to come down. We have littered our front garden with uh, masonry and hardcore. Um, use going to be used in the driveway. And of course after the fun bit comes clearing up, the whiz through this bit, nobody, nobody needs to watch that. because it was the porch and at some point another door was put on there outside making it sort of porchy that on the inside but I assume originally it wouldn't have had the door on the outside so it's double skinned doing. All the uh, electricals are out, so all the wiring, plumbing, um, got all the woodwork, all the skirtings are out. Basically trying to give ourselves a blank canvas. We've got rid of the walls that we uh, won't be requiring. Uh, copper work is all out of the floor, so you can see the trenches in the floor, all the copper work's out. All that is left really as far as water is concerned is we've got the one sort of pipe coming out which is the mains into the house all the ceilings are down all the insulations out um, here's is the sort of flat roof extension that's empty uh, wallpapers come off the walls and 
any non-required door frames out. All waiting uh, basically for plan admission so we can get started and go through that. So once we've got the plan admission we can start and crack on. And also once that's granted we'll be able to give some indication of what we're actually doing with this and you'll be able to see. But until then, once again, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.